Hi, so what you see here is the Haswell Core i7-4790. So this is a fourth generation Intel i7. And I want to demonstrate here a torture test. And I'm going to do three torture tests. First, I'm going to do the blend. And then I'm going to do a maximum heat and then a maximum power. So this blend is going to raise the core temperature. So uh, in the upper middle half of the screen, you'll see that the core temperature is going to start rising. And in the bottom middle of the screen you'll see the CPU usage is at 100% uh, from the eight threads that are running for each of the eight logical processors on the i7 here and what I really want to demonstrate here is I have a i7 fourth generation and this seems to have a lower core temperature when it is stressed than the i7 6th generation 6700. So you could see in my other videos the 6700 it gets really stressed where the temperature itself goes up to 90 degrees Celsius which is uh, fairly hot. So right now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the maximum heat here for the torture test and you'll see that the temperature for the I 74790 has well fourth generation is very much controlled you know it, it doesn't heat up as badly as the sixth generation core i7 and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side video also in this video it's uh, just the individual core i7 4790 in case you just want to compare it to your own and see if you have temperature issues. So the software I'm using here is Prime95 for the torture test and the uh, core temp for the temperature monitoring and you'll see that it is going no higher than the 70s, the low 70s here. So the core temperature right now despite the maximum heat test of the torture test is only you know 73 degrees 74 degrees Celsius whereas for the Haswell or, or for the Skylake i7 6500 it goes up to 93 degrees uh, which is uh, I would say it's near the critical upper limit of that CPU so as you can see here the torture test it's very stable capping in at the mid 70s and never going beyond that 80 threshold and so the next test I am gonna run is the maximum power so I'm gonna stop to test the maximum heat torture test and I'm gonna start the maximum power and you can see this is gonna be more of the same as you can see with the CPU it's dropped when I stopped the test and now it's back to 100% utilization uh, when I, I'm starting this uh, maximum power test. So the purpose of this is really for you to compare it with your own or compare it with other versions.